Hey guys, good morning. Uh, let's go over Ethereum. You know, I was, I was looking at this, this chart before I started this video. I'm like, you know what, guys? One of the most bullish signs we have in Ethereum right now is just the fact that it didn't go back down. <laughs> and you guys are like, oh, yeah, duh. But no, seriously, though, like a lot of what people I think were thinking here was this crash was just going to go up here. Just see a, you know, a retracement here. And it was just going to crash back down. One of the most bullish signs, if I can just make this analysis really simple, at least for the beginning part of this, is that we just didn't keep going down. That means people are buying in here and the buy orders are taking over the, the short orders in here or even the, the selling. We'll stick with selling and, short and, and going long. The, the long guys are buying more than people are selling. Make this very simple, okay? People who are shorting uh, probably aren't looking good this morning because they're probably gonna start hitting stop losses, which could be pushing us back up. Let me explain that, okay? Um, let me, uh, just wanted to keep this on here to show you guys our trade setup. Um, we hit our fourth buy limit here and our break even is at 2,741. Okay, I wanna clear it up because I wanna show you this to you guys. If, if you went short, let me talk to you a little bit right now because you may be starting to face something in the market here where you're not gonna like this. But those of you guys who have long trades, you're probably gonna like this analysis. So both parties, watch this. Those of you guys who went short around this area, pull back here, went short here, went short here. I understand this because Bitcoin's in a channel. You guys come over here, look at Bitcoin, it's in a channel. You're shorting here, you're gonna short here, people looking to short here. We already predicted this move down here this morning. You know, look, it's gonna probably move down. I only think probably a three to 4% scalp here is what you need to be looking for and then looking for the move back up. It's already hit once, twice, three times. The more a support is hit, the weaker it gets, okay? so. This is why, again, I think we're gonna start breaking out here and there's more bullish signs than bearish on the metrics, which I'll be showing you guys today, okay? Uh, look at this. Those of you guys who are going short, you are getting very close to this range up here where a lot of stop losses are being placed, which I believe is gonna be right around this 2,100 mark, okay? What people went short are doing right now, most likely they're holding their positions because they wanna come down here and they wanna target the low for short trades around 1,700, okay? And then maybe they're gonna look to take some profit. So most short traders right now, if I can predict this, because I've taught you guys how to do this, taught some big hedge funds how to do this stuff, you guys are probably having your stop losses right around here up to about 2170, maybe just a little bit higher, okay? It, it's a classic way to trade. It also correlates to the structure resistance right there. So what we've got is probably a lot of stop losses on 2100. If this pushes up here, and moves up to anywhere about, I would say 22 to 2250, right around that level right there, about 20, let's say 2250, that'll be officially a visual, nice visual break here. And people are gonna start getting nervous. This thing's gonna start heading back up here and it's gonna be targeting 2500 quarters theory level also perfectly lining up with an ascending resistance. And this is a decent amount of money people can lose on their shorts because of a lot of exchanges actually only, some exchanges only allow you guys to do leverage. It's kind of crazy. Some people were telling us about that. So if you guys are doing, let's say 2X leverage, that's 24% you're gonna lose on that trade. And that's kind of a lot for some people. So watch this guys this week, the most crucial level for Ethereum, because I just did some Bitcoin, is gonna be a break, I would say right about 2200. I think 2200 is gonna be pushing absolute anxiety into people going short because they don't know if this thing's gonna blast off at 2200. So watch that. Okay, now, all the short traders out there, let me give you some backing here of why this possibly could be going down here. Um, it's so funny, I read the comments, they're like, Travis, you just told us it could go up and it could go down. You know, sometimes that's actually the wisest thing to say on YouTube channels. It could go up, it could go down. It's it's sometimes, it's the aggressive analysis some guys, times, guys, that's like, oh, it's it's gonna do this, I know it's gonna do it. That's That actually damages a lot more people than just people being honest about, you know, right now it's just indecision. So, um, I don't know, just try to keep it real on this channel. So, four hour time frame right here, check this out. Trend exhaustion high, well money flow high. Awesome, we see this. Well, interesting enough, last time trend exhaustion was high and well money flow was moving up here, we saw a move back down in the market. And then guess what? Trend exhaustion was high. Well, money flow wasn't super high. It was moving up a little bit here, but we ended up seeing the move back down. Interesting. Back over here, trend exhaustion high, moving this straight up here. We're looking at this also right around this area, calling this drop in the market. Guys, grab these indicators. I won't make this a big deal of this, but uh, seriously, our indicators are 84% off. You guys have seven days left and we're upping the prices. So, Price result, money flow, trend exhaustion, trend dashboard. If you've ever seen me use these guys, this is how we've won 122 wins and only one loss. Seriously, we've exited with every single one of these. They are incredible. The testimonials are awesome with these. You have seven days left to grab these and we're gonna up the price. So I understand 
how people who are going short would be doing this because Wells have bought a lot of this. And when they get up to these levels, if we just come over here and we look at this, what they've done around these levels is we have actually seen the market take a move back down in these levels, okay? So that is an area where I will be honest with you guys, there are people playing this smart in here where when we get up to these levels in here, the market is seeing moves back down. It's just clear, you guys can see this over here. When you do this, don't cherry pick it all, go straight up and look for the moves back down in the market, okay? So temporarily, it's what I'm calling on Bitcoin, I do think we're gonna see this temporary move back down, give short traders what they want. But I don't believe, guys, we're just gonna, let me give us targets on the bottom price here, because a lot of you guys like um, worst case scenario targets, which I, I don't blame you, I, it's, it's very important to look at those. For Ethereum, guys, the worst case scenario I see over here is about 1430. It's structure high of 2017, okay? So 1430 is where we're probably gonna move down to if we absolutely crash. But if I had to make a prediction here between 1430, right, right about here, or structure resistance and ascending resistance up here, and that would put us right around this level about 2500, I think we have a higher chance of moving to 2500 than back down to the, the, the low down here of the December 2017 when crypto absolutely was in euphoria um, down here. So I, I, I see that. Okay, guys, also, can I show you something else with the indicators that are bullish? Look at the weekly time frame. Look at the trend exhaustion way down here and well money flow low. This is a time where the market likes to move back up. We're literally at pre-pump sentiment, not levels, sentiment right now, where the well money flow is so ridiculously low and trend exhaustion is low. This literally shows you the trend structure is due for a bounce, guys. It is due for a bounce. I do believe this thing is going to start moving back up here. I don't believe um, this thing is going to go down to the doom and gloom scenarios like people are talking about, you know, all the way down to, you know, $340. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. Let me show you guys some more metrics to kind of back this up here um, so you guys can just have a little more data. Let's leave it right there so we can come back to this. Okay, emotionally, the emotional index, um, access this in the description. Here's our thing. It's $95 a month, all the metrics, inner circle, chats, uh, community chat, master classes, telegram for all the entries and exits and all the well metrics we're about to go over. Awesome, sweet, you got that? It's in the description. Okay, let's go over to Ethereum now. <laughs> we wanna show you guys that. Okay, Ethereum, emotional index, in the neutral section. Guys, it's a great time to set up a long trade. Seriously, I know this is weird because you're like, man, this looks like it's gonna drop back down. Long trades, uh, I'll explain this further in this video. Long over short trades here. Longs have increased in volume over short trades on Bitfinex over here, so you guys can see this. Here's the deal, Bitfinex is not the greatest and the biggest exchange in the world. We all know this, but here's the deal, guys. The world out there has data for long and short trades on Bitfinex. And the fact that that data is looked at a lot will play into uh, the cryptocurrency price. And it's interesting enough, guys, do you see something here? Right when shorts took over here and longs went under, excuse me, let me go like this, longs went under shorts and shorts increased, it's really kind of interesting a little bit that that's where the peak was. And that's when it started moving back down. Guys, I think this is a far more valuable than you think. Okay, it's interesting because what happened right over here? Long trades massively increased over here. Sorry, I'm clicking that instead of, instead of my little cursor here. Long trades increased and short trades um, were, were decreasing. Look at the volume. The precursor after the volume, like volume jumped and the market jumped up here while longs were elevated. And it did not go down. Guys, Ethereum did not go down until long trades dropped off. And then after that, short trade volume, because it's literally showing you guys what's higher. Is long trade volume higher or short trade volume? That's when the market started moving back down, okay? So it, it's interesting here. And you see this, this little rally over here didn't last long. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, I wonder if part of that has to be because short trades volume-wise were elevated over longs. And that's why the, the crash happened and short trades stayed elevated over longs. Well, interesting over here, you guys can see long trades have surpassed that of short trades over here, which is why I do believe this is partly a, a bullish sign. Okay, look at Bitcoin. Can I sneak over you guys over to Bitcoin real quick? Look at Bitcoin over here. Look at the amount of long trade volume is ridiculously a lot higher than shorts over here. This is just another reason why I do believe, guys, this market has a higher chance of moving up here than just seeing an absolutely tank to zero crash like a lot of people are calling. It's like, oh, the, the U.S. market's going to get so bad. Six more interest rates, rate hikes. Like, yeah, yeah, it could. We could have a spot ETF on Bitcoin though and all those dreams of you know the price going down and short traders you know counting their money, it's gonna go out the window. They're gonna hit stop losses so fast, guys, if a spot ETF is released. I mean, I talked to you guys a lot about that in the, in the inner circle. Watch for that when it comes out. I will update you guys on that. I'm literally 
me and my, a friend of mine, he, he runs a uh, part of a $10 billion hedge fund. And we're talking about that a lot. So I'm t- staying in contact with him. Anything he knows or I know, we're kind of, we're talking back and forth. So it's fun. I'll keep you updated on this channel. So uh, market cap strength. Market cap, it, just staying steady with price. This is healthy. Just really healthy is all I want to stay with that. Um, you know, it, it's really, I say this quite a bit, guys, but it's when price is going up and market cap is just like tanking back down. It's just not really a bullish sign. Like when price is going up here, and in the actual market cap strength of this, the dominance of this is going down. It usually means we're probably going to see a, a drop back down because people are literally transitioning their money out. of This green line, guys, it literally means people are selling their Ethereum. And they're either putting it back in stable coins or they're putting it into other altcoins. That's, there's no two ways about it. That's exactly what it means. So you're like, how in the world can price go up with the overall market cap strength going down? Well, this actually just shows you guys where all the big money Maybe we should, you know, I'm not going to name, rename this, but you can call it like maybe the, the well, well purchase strength or I don't know, something like that. It's the big boys that are moving down. And when I say this is abandoning retail traders to the upside, that's really like what I mean there, guys. Market cap, the big market cap moves, those are moved by the Wells institutions. Those are the big, big guys. They're moving the green line. So when you see this up here and you're like, well, how can big boys move their money out? And the market cap or the price keep going up. It's because retail traders are still getting abandoned up here. Okay, it's, this shows you the green line shows you where money is moving in the market overall. Okay, so it, it's how we can use uh, precursors, and literally, it's called the cycles of Bitcoin. The last like five times, it's pretty amazing. Look at the Bitcoin chart um, on the metrics, and you guys will see that. Okay, trades in favor, neutral section. This makes total sense because we're in a neutral section. We're in a zone here. I think it's a great time to set up a long trade. I'll get into that. Uh, well, institutional smart money. So. Here's the deal with this. We've seen this go basically ping pong back from um, basically the middle point here of zero, right there. And then we started, if that was loud guys on the speaker, <laughs> it was loud over here, um, the zero point and then moving up to the long trades here. So majority of the time during this move down here, what do you guys see happening? Let's just be really honest with this. Like it's been more acquisitions of long trades in here than short trades, okay? And so when I see this, this tells me like, I think there's more wells out here looking to buy the dip over here. And then I look at this and I'm like, okay, this makes sense. We literally have more volume than shorts. That's bullish. And then we've got the market cap over here. Like it's actually doing pretty well. And then we see Bitcoin longs. And I'm like, if Bitcoin longs are that high, I wouldn't doubt if we see people doing the same thing on Ethereum. What we're not seeing, which which is would be a kind of a bad sign, is we're not seeing any of this. Like this over here, guys, is a bad sign. We're going to probably head down soon. Look at all the shorting power that's coming into the market. Guys, it doesn't matter if you entered in here, if you entered in here or entered in here. This metric is like, whales need to push their money out into different levels so they, they can't put it all in at once. You guys don't buy or you guys don't sell enough for, for whales to do that, okay? Because it has to be matching orders. That's why it's called an exchange. Buys, sells, it has to be matching orders, all right? So when you see this, this is a big precursor you're gonna see a drop back down. But when you see all of this volume, guys, the opposite is true. The buying in here, I really do believe this is where we're gonna start seeing moves back up here. Take a look at this, support resistance prices. The first target I'm looking at is 3,581. Well, let's go back over here, 3,581. This is big, big time. We're talking macro. This is micro, this is macro, okay? Uh, but right up here, this is the biggest structure we're looking to hit. Now, before that, we need to be honest here, probably about 2,500 quarters theory level is where we're gonna get and we're gonna move back down. Okay, that's just, that's it. So if you guys are looking for long trades and you're looking to take some money out, I would say 24 to 2,500 is where we're probably gonna hit. I would look to take some profit there, also correlated to some really nice resistance. And then you guys would be looking to take some profit on that to, on, on the way back down. Also, when we get up there, this will most likely come down and bang, hit the top section again. And you guys wanna be watching for those drop stairs I showed you. We use the indicators, set up alerts with the trend exhaustion. You can set up an alert when it gets in the top or bottom section and, um, it will help you guys stay away from the computer, be with your families, and um, let the bot help you. Okay, dollar cost average entries. If you guys are putting money in the market, you got an incredible entry right here. You guys have just been dollar cost averaging all the way down and you're holding for the long term. Such an easy strategy, but literally this this metric right here is a whole strategy by itself. Just dollar cost averaging. If you have 10,000 bucks, throwing 1,000 bucks each morning when you get a green line, awesome guys. Nobody knows when it's gonna turn around. Nobody exactly knows. So how do you get into the market? You just expose yourself on the dips because you're just buying the dips because you don't know when it's gonna go back up. So this is a great thing for you guys. All right, trade setup. I do wanna keep this private, but let me show you guys literally how we've got 122 wins and one loss. And again, Luna was our one loss and, and it was just a tragic thing for the whole crypto community. Just like ridiculous, but um, that's the one loss we took. But all the other trades we've won and we're just in, we're in some drawdown on some other trades, but guys, even the drawdown, we're still super healthy. $80,000 is where we're at out of 150,000, okay? A lot of people lost everything. 
and I'll show you guys how to keep your account really healthy. This is how we're doing it. We are using ridiculously good risk management. All right, here's the deal. Let's say you have a thousand bucks. We're splitting it into four equal portions at each of the buy limits. Those are your prices right there. This will update literally in like 25 minutes because it's, today's the 23rd and it's the 22nd. Every day they update on at 8 a.m. All of our metrics, the entire website, I think it's like over 60 plus metrics, all update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? Check a look at this. Place $250 at each of the buy limits, bingo, right there. Now, once the first buy limit is hit, you guys are looking to set up a sell limit up here. This chart is the exact same on all of our coins. Obviously not price structure, but the, the principle. The price structure is in white, four buy limits and one sell limit. In case the market explodes, we put the sell limit up here. But in the meantime, guys, follow me in Telegram. Click this link right here. Log in with your phone or your computer first on Telegram and click this link. And I'm calling exits with the indicators so you guys can take exits with me on this. Okay, let me show you guys the exact trade that I am in and a lot of our traders in. It's this one right here. We are looking at this. We hit our fourth buy limit. Let's come to the four, uh, excuse me, the one day time frame. Just make it a little easier to see. There we go. Cool. We hit our fourth buy limit and our break even entry is at 2,741. That's all we got to do, guys. Move back up here. And it's honestly not that far. Here's the thing that's our break even entry. Guys, there are people who FOMO'd into top prices up here, and you may be one of you guys watching this right now. This is the deal. If you guys want to FOMO in because some of your emotions are going to do that, at least use risk management. So instead of being down 55%, you're only down 25. Like we've cut it in half. So here's the actual emotional um, good side effects of this is that the positive thing is that when we get back up here, we're going to be making money. Like look at this. It's like making money, making money, making money, making money. Everyone who bought up here, still on a loss. This market, guys, could do this for quite a while. Once it gets back up here, we're exiting. We're going to enter back in, and we, we're going to be looking to exit. Enter back in, look to exit. The compound interest we're going to make on our money before some people ever get back to break even, it's going to make people so frustrated. This is why you guys just don't do this again. If I can just be really honest with this, and I know it's kind of probably aggressive for some of you guys for me to say that, but listen, no more putting all of your money into one position. You do it because you want to make the most money because you want the most money in the market because if more money is exposed, you make more money if it goes up. And more people think about the money they make going up in a bull market than they think about the money going down. You need to switch your emotions, guys. When a bull market is in place, you need to use better risk management than when a bear market is in place because a bear market usually looks for turnarounds. This is so simple, but so many people listening to me right now do not follow that advice whatsoever. You guys think when the market's going up, you're going to get left behind, don't you? It's never going to leave you behind. There will always be pullbacks in the market. Always. John McAfee called 150,000 prediction at the end of 2017. 150, guys. I coached this people on YouTube, had a channel right here. We, we traded all the way through the pump and the drop. And I remember that. He came out and said $150,000 by the end of 2017. Ridiculous, guys. It dropped all the way back down. You, Nothing, guys, is just going to keep going to the moon. Please understand that. So risk management that we're using right now, if you guys get in right now, you're going to have amazing entries. If you follow me on this, and I'll end this video here, and I'll show you guys the indicator cell we got going on. Here, if you guys follow me to the where I'm going to exit, it's going to be right around the structure higher. You're going to do about 46%. Okay, about 46% you guys are going to do on this trade. If you just follow me on this, it's not hard. Telegram access. Remember guys, the metrics over here, you're going to get all those as well as the telegram access as well, just with our membership. So make sure you guys snag that. Here's the indicator cell we've got going on. Predict the moves up, predict the moves down. That's what the price as well money flow is for over here. Okay, guys, these are going up in price. You guys have eight days left. Use coupon code save money and click this link right here. This um, link to this actual page that you're looking at um, right here. This is in the description. This link right here, click the um, link here, enter coupon code save money. You'll get 84% off. Use the coupon code save money on the three indicators that we use individually. You'll get 40% off. So you're going to give yourself an extra 44% off and then 60% off is what you guys are going to get if you get um, the other indicators down here. Okay. Overall, the three indicators you really need to copy me and to use our scalping strategy that besides Luna has never lost a trade, seriously, has never lost a trade. You guys see that on the front page. You guys need to be getting the bundle pack because it's actually cheaper than buying the ones that you really need. We did this because we know we're in a bear market. So we're like, hey, let's give everyone a discount so you guys can make money and have good tools to protect yourselves as well as getting to really good trades in this bear market. So you guys have eight days left. It's a one-time purchase, lifetime access. You get the source code to the indicators as well, guys. 
Those of you know how important that is. If anything happens to me, Jesus takes me to heaven. You know, I'm not here anymore. I want you guys to keep what you purchased. So we're giving away the source codes to all of our indicators. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's why a lot of people, um, <laughs> why a lot of people buy them, honestly. And people do really well at these. All, let's, 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 let's land this ship right here. Show you guys some testimonials to kind of keep you excited. And by the way, guys, these testimonials came in on this drop right here, okay? Let's keep this in mind. And, and in this bear market that you guys are seeing, from here to here, this is where the testimonials came in. So we're not like, I'm not pulling these from in a, from a bull market, okay? <laughs> Just so you guys know. Okay, $150 and he turned it into $1,000 in one month with our indicators. That's insane. That challenge is crazy. He's like, the, the challenge is, is hard, but the challenge, the indicators made it, all right? This guy down here, he's like, I'm making thousands of dollars a month and just this week alone to $5,000. Keep up the great work. Um, you're changing the game in our favor. Pretty cool um, what that guy was talking about there. Okay, um, this guy down here, uh, since joining Trade Confident membership last month and using the trend exhaustion, precious well money flow, I'm making about $4,000 a month. Pretty awesome, that's some good money. A lot more money than maybe a lot of people are making. Now, here's the thing guys, some of these guys are using a decent amount of money. Like that's, that's true. I just wanna show you guys some things that are possible here. Um, I've won four trades. And the last two weeks, 4% each, good risk management. Yeah, awesome. There's there's a guy down here, I don't know where it is exactly, but he's like, I've been undefeated in my trades. And I'm like, I actually think that's cool. Oh, this guy right here. Um, ever since I started using the indicators and following them um, to a T, I've been undefeated with my trades. Literally guys, outside of Luna, we've been undefeated in all of our trades because of the risk management and the indicators. Okay guys, um, let's end with this. This guy literally did $23,000 with our two indicators in one week. He's like, super blessed, great master classes, by the way. Watch the master classes, guys. I will teach you the mental game of trading and how to master it. If you're brand new and you guys are like, I wanna get to the pro level, seriously, watch the master classes and you guys will get there in probably like 48 hours if you guys blast through these master classes. It's part of the membership. I literally have taught billion dollar hedge funds this. I'm not even kidding. They literally in hundreds of million dollars of hedge funds. I've literally had them go through these. They're like, how do we do this? How do we end up using good risk management? How do we get these markets? How do we have a good mindset emotionally to get in the markets? Watch the master classes. So hope you guys don't think this is like a bunch of sales in here. I'm just trying to like literally give you guys a lot of good info to help you out. This is just kind of fun. $3,500 here he did in a week using the indicators and metrics. So anyways, guys, have a good one. Um, I love you guys. It's just awesome to see how well you guys are doing. Um, I know the market's low right now, but guys, use good risk management and you're gonna keep your account safe. That's what we're about here, guys. Bear markets, let's keep our account safe. Let's not lose all of our money ever again. Um, those of you guys who did in Luna, you know, that's that's an you know, anomaly. But if you've traded these markets in Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, guys, and you still, if you don't have at least, you know, at least half your portfolio, like use good risk management, guys. That's what I'll teach you on this channel. And then when we go up, we'll, we're still going to be making good money. All right. I love you guys. God bless you guys. The indicators are in the description. They're going up in, set, in eight days here. And the membership is there as well to access all the metrics to see what the wells are doing. And um, you guys can trade with those. All right, guys. Everything's linked to the description. It's also linked to the first comment of this YouTube video. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.